YouTube, it's Minecraft Grand, the geeky Minecrafter, coming at you with a new video. In today's episode, I'm actually going to be recording my Let's Play here on a brand new server that I'm starting uh, called Minecraft Addict. Uh, that's Addict, A-T-T-I-C. Like when you go to your grandma's house, you go up into the attic and find all kinds of good stuff. So I'm going to give you a quick tour, and then because I don't want Yeti the Vetty mad at me, <laughs> I'm going to record uh, what I'm doing at the Nether Hub. With me today is X Craftability. Can you hear me, X? Yep. Where are you? Oh, there you uh, are. Running back to spawn. I see you. Hey there. Oh, nice armor. Very yep, cool. Yep, thanks. Yep. So this is, we, we spawned in right here, right behind this little message board. Um, I, I just put World Guard on and... Uh, sent out about I don't know 7,000 blocks in every direction, so it's a pretty good sized world. We've just begun building. I think um, X Craftability has a shop over here where you can come get some fish. Um, we've got he's got a. Uh, oh, I just walked through that horse's butt. <laughs> he's got a uh, a hobbit hole over here that began, and then of course it you know goes down to the main mine for the resources used here in spawn. Uh, we've put together a pretty substantial number of chests to help hold all of what we're putting together. Uh, and I, I guess, you know, if we're going to do a tour, I'm going to run you downstairs and show you, you know, what we've what we've begun. Now, this is a lo everybody's efforts. There are, I don't know, eight or nine guys. Uh, I say guys, you know, eight or nine people here with me on the server uh, that are all putting things together and uh, contributing We've got uh, resources coming out of this mine, and then each person is, is kind of taken on a project. Uh, for example, um, X Craftability, you built the Blaze Farm, didn't you? Yes, I did. And tell me about that. Uh, well, we're using some spawners on here, so we were able to grab uh, Blaze Spawners with uh, some touch pickaxes and move them into the overworld. Um, currently, we have one set up. Um, over in this direction, which we'll see shortly. Uh, yeah. um, big cobblestone building. Uh, and that's basically just ethos designed from a couple years back, just pushing them into a little square where you can crush them and get the XP. Nice. One thing I like about this design that I haven't seen in others, and maybe it's Etho worked it out or... You know, maybe you added this, I'm not real sure. But when you have an XP farm, when you go to start whaling on them, crush them, for example, um, a lot of times somebody else will drop down in, and uh, it, then the next time they get crushed, he's, he's taken some hits, he's taken some damage, so you lose that. What I like about this one is, if you'll watch right up here, if you put the crusher on, it stops any new ones from dropping down. So then you wail on these guys, you get your XP, and then you reset it. Let's wail on him, okay. But you see no more falling down, and that's because it's it's blocked. You have to use this little handy-dandy reset button, and now they drop back down. So good job on the XP farm. Thank you. Okay, we had planned, and I know, you know we're just beginning, we planned a shop district off this path here. Uh, this wound up being the menagerie, all of the you know various animals that we've needed for uh, you know food or getting projects started just wound up coming in here. I see you, <laughs> see you have your diamond armor, very nice. Uh, so if you you know if you do decide to join the server, we do have a shop area down here. I'm not going to charge you rent on the shops. You you know you want a shop, you section out an area, you build your shop, and then you put in what you want. Um, we've got, uh, we do have a community potato farm. Uh, I'm not, do you remember who desi whose design this was? Uh, mm. I know you sent me a video. I can't remember I, off the top of my head. I excavated this room and built this, uh, this farm. Let's see, I can show you right in here. So basically what happens is all this land is farmed, and, uh, this guy, this this farmer villager, has a full inventory of potatoes, stuff that he can eat. But this guy up here, he's got nothing. He's hungry. And this villager feels sorry for him. So he goes out and he farms, and then he tries to throw him some food. And, of course, it's caught by this water stream and dropped down this hole. 
Now, we keep this one little piece of dirt right here always untilled. So if you walk upon it and leave, even if you plant something there, it's going to de deplant it or, or take it out. So he's always centered on this block for new planting, uh, which leads him back to feed his little compadre. Now we capture that through that little downspout. Comes right down this area right here. Oh, fell on my face. Flows down here, hits this, and X Craftability, you put this item elevator together for us. Basically, this is the only known mechanical elevator in 1.9 that works. So the potatoes are captured here, they're sent into this uh, dispenser. There's a timer jet right back here. When this fills up, it sends them over to here. Comes through this little bit right here. I wish I maybe he'll he'll throw some while we're down here. But it flows down here, hits these pistons, and then shoots them up. <laughs> I'll and, throw a couple through. Okay, thanks. Here they come. So they, they hang up right here for just a moment, and that allows them to gather quite a ways, and then it shoots them up. Now, up here, we actually have, let's see, this this was, this was wound up being really fun to build. So it shoots them up here into this water, and then the water, of course, is flowing this direction. They enter this hopper chain, they flow around, they hit these chests, and start coming down. And as you can see, this this little farmer guy, he is trying to, he's trying to feed his buddy. We have a double chest worth of potatoes here, a full hopper, a full hopper, a double chest here, and looks like uh, maybe we're at this point. Yeah, so soon this hopper will be filled, and then it'll keep stacking. Now, ideally, we're going to have ooh, I'm trying to walk up the ladder here. We're going to have an industrial furnace. Right now, we're just manually putting them in the furnaces over here under the stairs. But Lop has uh, agreed to come in and build us an industrial furnace, take the raw potatoes out of the hopper chain, send them into the furnace, cook them, and then send them on to our storage system. So he's begun adding material here that he's going to need for that furnace set. Uh, and I'm, I'm looking forward to, to see what he can do with that. See, I've some of our overflow. I've I've begun moving in here once they're baked because we just we had we were out of room. So you know, if you need some potatoes, come on down to the potato farm. We have quite a few happening up in here. Okay, let's see. This uh, this is a back door back into our our spawn hobbit hole with all the storage here. So let's see. We just have a couple more things to see. Oh, it's dark now. Good grave. This is when. This is when I get killed a lot. Okay, Although you're still at zero deaths. Well, I, in the other worlds. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm being really cautious here. So we have plans to make this an enchant area. So, you know, lots of books, lots of shelves, lots of you know supplies needed for enchanting. So you'll be coming here. And then this is currently the admin shop. Now we we don't have a... Hello, Moo Cow. We don't have a lot of stuff in here. You can come sell us your logs. You can buy some logs. Um, but we're still arguing over what needs to go in the admin shop. Some of the community players don't want you know, uh, the ability to come in and sell like carrots because that fosters a bunch of people building mega farms that are automated that they can AFK so they can make a whole bunch of money, which I kind of understand their mentality on this. But the other side of this, this is this is yours, right? Oh. Yeah. Oh, hold on. I have to deal with Skelly here. Oh no! Jeez, Louise. You know, help a sister out here. I'm dying. You don't want that blow the creeper up. No. I did not mean to. See what I mean? <laughs> this this is where I die. I just got really lucky. Good armor. So you built a ship here? Yep. Very nice. So our plan originally was kind of a dog park area. Well, I say dog park. You know, a, a, an area around here that people can come and sit and relax and, you know, campfires and logs and stuff like that. Just a nice big surround on the lake. 
Okay, oh, another zombie. Run, run away. Oh, thanks for that. <laughs> okay, so that's that's pretty much, um, other than up the hill, that's pretty much the spawn area. So again, we've just begun. If you want to come help us out, come join the server and, uh, you know, take on a project. Because right now it's just pretty much the whole community is pitching in and, uh, and building for us. Now, Pixelated Pyro has built him a house right up here. X Craftability has built a village breeder station right over there. Um, of course, that's the potato farm. And then X Craftability. He's been a very busy boy. Uh, X Craftability built a... Oh, two zombies. Hold on. Let me get my, knife, my sword out. Oh, hey, come here. Breaking the torches, too. I didn't mean to. <laughs> I'm swinging wide. So he built this beautiful um, fountain in this in this gorgeous. Let's look at this. Now our goal, we we've got some really interesting canyons right over here. Oh, I have a zombie right down here. So we're we're gonna build a bridge from here over to there, and just on the other side of that little wall. Let's see. Can I cheat? Can I fly? I can fly. I'm going to fly for just a second to give them an overview. So right over this little wall, there is this canyon area. We're going to build a bridge from right over here into this little sky bridge area here. And we're going to build apartments, player places to live right here in the, in the canyon walls. Now they'll be up high, and they'll be able to take this skywalk back. Oh, look. Oh, knocked her off. <laughs> it do not like me some witches. Okay. So that's the plan is to uh, build some apartments right over there. I think that's going to be a pretty neat area. So Yeti, um, I understand <laughs> you want to um, you want to record all this. So we'll consider this an intro. sheep came through. Do you see that? So, Yeti, just so you understand what's happening here, um, all I did was I came to the original portal that we had put in. I'm not sure what's going on over here. It looks like somebody maybe um, pillared up and got some glowstone. Um, so here was the original portal. And all I did, because I wanted up at like 117, 116, something like that, I just came over here, pillared up, built this ladder, um, and lifted the nether hub to the area that I want. Now I've gathered some resources and I'm going to drop them here because Yeti, you said you wanted to record <laughs> us building the nether. Well, okay. I don't know if that means you record or me record or, or what exactly. Is this where you're going to put it? Because I've got, I brought some chests and some materials. Alright, then I'll move this. No, that's okay. It, it can stay yeah. right there. Um, I brought um, 12 chests because I know we're going to need a bunch of stuff. Let's see, is that a. Dark oak logs in this. Is that a, a trap chest or a normal chest? Normal chest. Uh, okay, so that means. Okay, we can do it like this, right? Let's undo the item up here. Oh. Thank God it wasn't lava right above there. <laughs> I didn't think that one all the way through. Okay, so I brought up some stone brick because God knows I love me some stone brick. I brought some uh, dark oak. Looks like Yeti did too, or uh, Craftability did too. I brought a couple of crafting tables and some glass. Now, we haven't really discussed the design, so Yeti, consider this a request for more information. Are you intending to build it? Do you want help? Uh, because I came up here to get started, and X Craftability reminded me that you wanted to record it, and that that's why nothing has been done so far. So, talk to me, buddy. Um, are we doing this together? You want to do it yourself? Either way, ideally, what I want is a pretty good sized nether hub. I want main tunnels going in four directions. 
I want subtunnels off of that, or the ability to create subtunnels off of that. Uh, so, and I, you know, if it if it becomes big enough, I'm okay putting a rail system in uh, all down all four channels uh, from this main area. So, for example, uh, I live, I think it's um. I think it's about 16, 1700 blocks away from spawn. Uh, so it would be nice to be able to jump into a portal at my place and pop out here and then and then be able to go visiting. Now, this particular server does have, uh, we, we enabled a couple of features. Uh, we call it the homes features, so slash home space and then a home you've named. You can jump there right away. Uh, you can have up to six of those uh, and then I guess seven if you count slash spawn. So if I do slash spawn, see you later, craft. <laughs> I will jump right back down into spawn. Now you give it a second for the cooldown, and you're right here in spawn. Uh, I can jump from here to a home I've set up called base, and I've just jumped all the way over to my base. And again, this is just oh my goodness, <laughs> I walked into your head. <laughs> so this is uh, this has been my base of operations. Uh, I've got my mine down there, a fish farm up there. My bedroom is upstairs. Uh, got a little area here with some um, cows uh, and a cooker, and have built some towers. I mean, I've just started. Again, the server's not very old, uh, and I should have been recording all of this, I suppose. Uh, but you know how it is when you get a new game, you get a new world, you just get busy and. I, I would be, I was three quarters of the way through the towers before I even thought of turning on the video, and at three quarters of the way through, that's just not a good time to start recording. Let's see, do I have? I do. Uh, this is the project I'm working on right now. I've just finished building this iron golem farm, and I have my uh, villagers, which I've trapped from um, uh, z uh, zombie villagers. Okay, found them wandering around out here. They're trying to kill me. So I dug a, I dug the ground out from underneath them, dropped them in this hole, went in and got my potions, converted them. Uh, so these guys I'm going to pull up there. Now the first two that I, I captured, I captured over here. They were chasing me out of this forest. I managed to get a hut around them, trapped them, got them up here, and uh, two became, what do we have? Four. I'm not sure how that is because they all have beards, but okay. <laughs> so two became four, and uh, I, I'm waiting for them to, to make some more villagers. I've got I've got a number of doors here. I've got enough doors that I should be able to to breed up to 14 villagers. Now I'm okay with adding another layer, but this is just you know a simple iron farm for me. Do you have any thoughts on iron farms? Are you planning to build one, or you just do all your iron with mining? Mining mostly. Um, I'll probably get one up eventually, though. Hopefully, a spawn one as well. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't decided on that. Um, what I what I don't want to happen is spawn to get laggy. Uh, that's one of the things I, I don't care for on the other servers. Uh, when you get too much redstone and hoppers and all those entities going on, spawn can get a little laggy, and I I don't I don't want that here. I don't want that at spawn. I want the server to remain responsive. So these are yeah. the stuff I have left. So I'm just waiting on my villagers to to breed enough that I've got uh, iron golems coming in here. I need <laughs> I need the farm. I use so many hoppers in my projects that I run out of hoppers before I before I have finished. I'm I'm using them as fast as I get them. See, here's another big excavation I did. Uh, this is going to be my bedroom. Uh, this cutout here is going to be the ooh, the bathroom. Why my efficiency five peg just went whoosh, right through that. Um, so yeah, the bed the bathroom is going to be here. I've got a balcony out here, and uh, by the way, I knocked uh, <laughs> knocked a couple of animals off. They they keep dying on my on my balcony here. Okay, so what else did you need to know? You want to show them your base? Sure, the little shell that's there. Yeah, so you head there, and I'll TP to you. All now, right, I'm over there. Now I apologize in advance if this looks like an ability that you're gonna want because this is 
uh, not an ability the average player has. Uh, but you know, I am I am a part of the build team. I'm I'm the owner of the server, and yeah, I I get to do this. <laughs> so nice tunnel here. Yes, this is kind of the main drop off from what's going to be above ground, where there's kind of just a little cutout for now. Okay. Um, that hole down there is to the mine. Okay. Um, this is an area that we just came out of is going to be the storage room, um, which I've probably spent well over two stacks of hoppers doing already. Oh, I bet. Um, and many more things to fill out. From yeah, there. Can I can I see behind here? Can I can I show them behind Go here? Ahead. It's not proprietary, right? <laughs> okay, so just your typical. Uh, uh, all right, I broke into the um, broke into the item elevator. Oh man, I'm freezing up everything. Yep. Uh oh. Here's when the problems start. I'm I'm, right, I'm backing away. I don't want to break your machine. Where are you at? Oh. I'm I'm in front of the hoppers. I mean I'm in front of the chest. Oh okay. Cause uh, back there I have another one of the item elevators from that we had in the potato farm. Just right. bringing them up up to the top of the hopper chain, bringing that across. But um, just just to be clear, this is your input chest, right? So you drop yes. something in here, and it heads down, hits your item elevator. Your item elevator pops it up to the very top of the input filter line and then it flows all the way across and it's going to go all the way down show me all where it ends wow right down here and then it's going to go back across and go through the other side wow this is an ambitious project and, and this uh, is only like how many items maybe 30 or 40 items that i'm going to be able to sell. probably six, five no six per tunnel right so 12, six, 12 12 one two three four five Six, seven, seven times twelve. How many is that, kids? Do you uh, know? Like seventy-two. Yeah, somewhere around there. Yeah. And then, but that's like that's not even enough. So I'm gonna throw a second floor on here and just use hand sorting for that for all the smaller items that I won't carry a lot of. Wow, wow! I Maybe thought I was anal retentive. Resources. <laughs> basics. Very nice. There we got the AFK fish farm. Yep, let's go look at that. This is the one I can never get working. So he showed me this design, and he's pulled a lot of stuff out of here. Uh, apparently, there is an art to finding the, you know, dialing in the spot to point to when you're when you're casting your line. I can't hit it. He hits it nearly every time. Go ahead, show off. Oh, now I'm not gonna hit it. Because somebody's eyeballing you. Uh, yep, never works. There it goes. There we go. Yeah, that's just the basic idea. And then we have all these, basically all the double chest full yeah, items. There's, there's quite a few down there. And he's, you know, he's pulling stuff like saddles and enchanted books. And I can't even believe some of the stuff that's coming out of the, that little bucket of water. So I definitely wanted one. I, I tried to build one in my in my base, um, and I've got it built, and it works. He walked up and used it. First rattled out of the box. Uh, I cannot get it to work for me. So I went with uh, Nim Tut's design. It's not as fiddly as this one, and I'm able to make that one work and go AFK. I don't think I showed you that. It's beside one of the towers. Maybe we'll hit that on the way out. Is there anything else in here you want to show me? Uh, not right now. There you go. Oh, sending me off. Yep. He's got a cool feature on this. It's got an auto return. <laughs> uh, so he can stand down here and it'll it'll automatically return, or he can call yeah, it. Refer to refer to hit down there yeah. and calling it. Yeah. And this turns this one off, so it stop. Oh no, you just jump in. <laughs> I didn't. Yeah, jump you in. gotta yeah. jump in quick. Yeah. But cool feature. So I, I assume you're going to have more than one of these. You have them on, on every direction. Uh, yeah. So, and you're underground. Let's see. Show me show me out. I want to show out people the area you live. Probably throwing in an uh, elevator eventually. But right now, 
it's basically fall to your death. Oh, yay. But luckily, I have fly. Fly up. But this is in a fairly large mountain. Um, so I have no problems with space, especially since I'm down low. This is the main area. And here's the outside. Oh, you like extreme hills, too. Yeah. Yeah, that's my preferred yeah. method. Probably oh, build stuff throughout this entire mountain, too. I lost you. Where'd you go? I went back inside and popped back oh, okay. out. Okay, that's fine. So I'm going to head back to my base. So home base. And I'm going to show them the non-fiddly <laughs> fish farm. Uh, let's see. This is, this is the one. Oh, good grief. Oh, I still have fly on. I was trying to this figure out what. One. Yeah, this is the fiddly one. Okay, and I was so proud of myself. I've got it where you know you can lock this chest, so everything that comes in here stays in here, uh, and then you turn it back on, and it allows everything to flow down into this set of chests. I've got a, you know, a bunch of chests down here. That the idea was you know filling them up. Now I, as you can see, I don't have much down here because I can't AFK this one. Uh, if I'm not standing here casting, hey, I can't get it to work. See, see what I mean? He's just got this fiddly stuff down. So I built one from Nim Tuts, and by the way, Nims, if you're watching, thanks so much for that design. Uh, it's just it's perfect for me. So it's uh pretty pretty right, straightforward. Yeah, gaps. yeah, I I uh, knocked it down because I broke it earlier. <laughs> so I got to go back and fix that. So you turn the machine on. It begins, you grab your fishing line. Now, ideally, I'd like to have a mending one. So you, you cast and hold. There we go. Okay, so you cast and hold, and you just start pulling stuff out. Everything that comes out hits, uh, hits me or the door behind me and drops to my feet. I'm standing on a piece of carpet on top of a hopper. The hopper is feeding into the chest on my left. So it's not ideal, and I, I built it originally uh, just because I wanted a working version. Um, this one, uh, here, let's stop this here. This it's a one, little because you haven't hit the spot yet. No, I'm half, half hit the spot. It's working. No, you've just been swinging it. You've been reeling it back in. It's working when you stop casting over and over again. Wait, I'm not seeing my trap door. Did my trap door get knocked out? Oh, it's not even... Is it even there? My trap door is gone? Hold on. Ah. Oh, no, 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 it's flipped up. It's not... Okay. No, it's there. Let's okay, see. where's my... Chimney Cricket. Oh, and see, there's my good, uh, my good mending rod that, uh... Craftability gave me. I get that. Let's see. Let's see yeah, it's what we there. got here. Oh, it is there. So what was what's going on? Uh, after telling you it's not fiddly, here it is being it's not fiddly. Not flipping anymore. Oh, there it goes. Yeah, you have to turn the machine on for it to flip. You know you hit the. There we go. So there we go. You hit it. Yeah, I did. Okay, so you, you gotta hit it when it stops. Right. So now you just stand here. If if I had uh, you know paperweight on my mouse, it I stand here and do this until it caught something. Then it would pull it back, reel it in, drop it at my feet. The pe the chest would pick it up, and it would cast again. So great little AFK station. What is it? 15 to 50 seconds is the random um, time it takes to put something on the hook, right? I think somewhere around there. Now this design does require that you build, uh, not build between, there we just caught a fish, not build between 42 and 62, uh, because if you build before 42 and 62, uh, you've got the, you run the risk of having squids. So this is this is what I've done with just like 20 minutes of AFK. Um, I've mostly been working on it, messing with it, but. Kind of got it dialed in. I've got a few little things I got to fix, but you know, this is it. This is this is MinecraftAddict.com. If you're interested in coming and and checking it out, there it is a whitelisted server, so you will need to fill out an application. 
And just to be fair and honest with you, um, I'm being pretty selective about who I who I let on. Uh, I don't I don't have a whole lot of time to manage the servers, so I need mature uh, individuals who are not going to make work for me, who can work together and participate. So, you know, if you if you want to fill out an application, that's great. But let me know how you're going to help, um, and and let me know what kind of experience you have. So, that's it. This is Minecraft Grand, the geeky Minecrafter, signing out. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, smash that like button. It really does help me and my channel out. And if you're interested in uh, applying to the server, the links are down below. Check that out. I look forward to seeing you. Happy mining!